The men are dying and the young men are not there to listen. And in our language, we have a proverb. As an old man dies, it's as if a library burns down. I can only think that there's nothing more urgent than to capture the information from the generation before they pass. There are no archives for me to go and search in. So I just have to go and um, rely on an old woman or old man in the family for history. If you go and they are not dead, you'll be lucky. But if you are dead, it's a big problem. Due to widespread illiteracy in many parts of Africa, most genealogical records reside only in the memories of family elders and tribal leaders. Most of them, however, are now in their 70s, well above the average life expectancy of 55. Family Search, operated by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, is therefore battling against time to collect and preserve these genealogies before the opportunity is lost forever. The notion of having written records, christening dates, baptismal dates, marriage certificates, uh, in many parts of the world, that is not common. Sometimes it's a matter of collecting oral histories. For centuries, African people, they were attached or tied to the oral traditions. People were preserving their family history that way, from one generation to another one. We are interviewing the the chief of the village, we are interviewing the chief of clans, we are interviewing the chief of tribe or families because these people are the ones that kept the family information. What you find in the villages everywhere we go is that they're connected with their ancestors. They invite their ancestors into the conversation when we're with them. They talk to their ancestors in, in a way as if they're there and present. It's a beautiful experience for everyone involved. We hear some amazing stories too. The storytellers, the elders in the village, they'll tell us about where they came from and how they came to be. They'll talk about their migration, they'll talk about the wars. And that's really great information, and we collect that through the audio recording. One person holds all the records in an oral genealogy. Nobody else knows that information. When they pass from this earth, they're gone. The oral genealogy in Africa is maybe 250 million names to collect. Family Search have recently interviewed some remarkable individuals. Tybu Prekodoa from Sikensi, a town in southeastern Ivory Coast, was able to recall over two and a half thousand of his ancestors, while others have shared details of ascendants as far back as the 14th century, including those taken into slavery. When Family Search engages in this work and they collect that information, they do share it online through Family Search, but they also give a copy of that record back to the village. They will be able to leave something to their children. That means even if they pass away, their children will be able to find records that they can use, you know, in their lives. And this is why is it, it is very important for us. The availability of these records, not just to members of our church, but to local communities and to governments is very important. During 2018, Family Search hoped to conduct over 51,000 interviews and record over 200,000 hours of audio recordings. This will result in the collection of over 15 million genealogically linked names across 12 African countries, most of which would have otherwise been lost forever. <laughs>